After 12 years sailing around the world, Logos Hope is finally back in Malta, her port of Vegas or her home port. My name is Matthias. And I'm Madeline. And it is our pleasure to guide you through this port report from the heart of the Mediterranean. For our official opening, we were honored by the visit of the former president of Malta, Marie Louise Colero Preca. She also performed the traditional ribbon cutting to officially open the book fair to the public. We also welcome more than 20,000 visitors on board during our time on this beautiful island nation. Since 2018, Malta has been designated as the European capital of culture. So we decided to use this opportunity to show some aspect of the 60 different nationalities we have on board. A group from the ship gave presentation in different parts of the city and enjoyed performing in a flash mob. We were dancing the Pacifica dance. Immediately the locals also joined us and we were also forming this big group in the end where everyone is just dancing and having fun and people were watching. I think it was great witness to how we can have all fun together and be as unified even though we are from so many different nationalities. Sports was also a great way for us to interact and get to know the local people outside the ship. A team from the ship participated in a football tournament led by a community of Latinos in Malta and without doubt fond memories of the day will remain. I love to watch football but I come here to support the, the church and to see these people playing and we are so happy to have the Logos Hope here playing and we are having a really good time, we are enjoying here. The football game was very intense, uh, Latinos are great players. It was an amazing experience just to see them play, uh, but also just to be a part of this. On board the ship we had the privilege of hosting different programs and activities, such as Crew for a Day. This is an opportunity for locals to participate as volunteers. They helped in the different ship departments. This allows participants to briefly experience how exciting it can be to live on a ship with people from all over the world. I heard about the ship through some friends who let me know about the opportunity to come and be a part of the crew for a day. So I worked with the Angels, which was the cleaning department, and we went around and cleaned toilets, floors, and the whole ship. My favorite part was just getting to see all the crew members working together and just the community that the ship has built. We also had the great opportunity to visit an elderly home, where a group from the ship were able to do different activities such as origami, singing songs and presenting a drama. The residents were very excited about the visit and it was also incredible to hear their stories and their experiences. I really enjoyed your show. You are wonderful. You made me feel happy inside. That's, that's the way I felt, you know, because some people come, it's just a job. You did it out of your heart, and that to me was great. A special moment of our time in Malta was being able to collaborate with different organizations, such as a shelter for migrants who receive English classes. We were also able to offer practical help to other shelters. We had windows and doors that needed to be sanded and painted and some areas that needed a clean up and those rooms can be now used to host people who, who need shelter. So you've really helped us a lot. The, the encounter with Logos Hope, it's a beautiful experience of just doing something together. So it does bring hope, it does bring faith, it does bring the idea of providence. Our time in Malta has come to an end and we leave full of joy having learned many things. Thank you so much for your support and we invite you to follow us as we continue to our next ports of call. And perhaps one day we will even see you on board. <laughs>